administration is cracking down on pregnant mothers trying to travel and stay in America by giving birth here. Here's the State Department warning. By giving birth in the United States is an impermissible basis for the issuance of an AB non-immigrant visa. I think we need some expertise on this one, and we've got it. Tom Homan is the former ICE director. Tom, welcome back. Thank you. Now, I'm told that 36,000 foreign-born women came to America last year, gave birth, and left. Is that accurate? Is that what's going on here? Yes, 36,000 came on a visa for the sole purpose of giving birth and leaving the country. That doesn't take into account the hundreds of thousands that come through the southwest border illegally and have U.S. citizen children. Now, what, would, we're stopping this? How do, how do you actually stop it? Well, look, I think the question now for a visa is going to be a lot more in depth. They want to make sure, you know, if, if you're six months pregnant, you're sitting there for a visa. They want to know why you're coming. Because I tell you, they're going to come and have a child at our expense, people that have insurance. American taxpayers are paying for this. And here's, what, here's what's really concerning me. This is long overdue. The three biggest countries, the three biggest exploiters of this, China, Russia, and Turkey. We should be concerned. You got tens of thousands of U.S. citizens that have no loyalty to this country living in China and Russia. Now, when they become adults, they can be recruited by their governments to do bad things to, this, to the United States, and they got free entry now. Do you think it's necessary to, stop, to stop foreigners giving birth in America? That child is automatically an American citizen and can get the mother and father to stay. Do you think that's flat out wrong? I think, I think birthright citizenship is wrong. I don't think the framers of this Constitution on the 14th Amendment meant, okay, we're going to reward illegal behavior because coming on the visa and false premises, that, that, that's, that's a criminal scheme. Coming across the border illegally, criminal scheme. I don't think our framers said, yeah, we want to reward that behavior with something as precious as a U.S. citizenship. Are we now going to say, when you apply for that visa, are you pregnant? Okay, I, I, think I, I, I think that's going to be part of, part of the uh, interview, absolutely. So it should if, be. If you are pregnant and you say, no, I'm not, that is a lie, that is an offense, and you can't come. Yeah. And what we need to do, yes, you're right. And what we need to do, CBP needs to uh, up the ante, too, because once they get the visa, CBP decides when they come and how long they come. So if you get a visa and you wait for six, eight months to actually come, then the, 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 the other foot, the CBP needs to make sure that the, the reasons that you got the visa six months ago haven't changed, and you are now coming to have a, a child. I gotcha. This needs to be an all-the-government approach. Okay. I, I'm inclined to say, and I'm going to ask you the question, are we at a turning point with the whole immigration system? I'm looking at video right here. That's uh, Mexico trying to ship migrants on its southern border back to Central America. Now, that's new. Is Mr. Trump seems to be winning, but my real question is, is the tide turning on illegal immigration? Not only is it turning, it has turned. This illegal crossings on the border are down 72 percent from the high in May because of President Trump, greatest president down I've worked for, and I've worked for six of them, 72 percent from the high. It's not because Congress has done anything to help them. The courts haven't done anything to help them. This is President Trump thinking out of the box, writing executive orders, Forcing Mexico to a threat of tariffs, step up and defend your border. Because, you know, it's illegal in Mexico to, to transit to Mexico on a transit visa. It's illegal in Mexico to traffic in women and children. He's telling Mexico, enforce your laws. And what's really sad is the country, Mexico, is doing more to secure our border and protect American people than members of Congress. Congress hasn't done anything on this. I hear there are immigrants coming to our southern border and staying there, sort of camping there, and saying, we're staying here until a Democrat wins the White House. Good. That's exactly what we want. But if they're waiting <laughs> for President Trump to leave, they got five more years. Yeah, because you think he's going to win. He's absolutely going to win. Absolutely. Absolutely? I, I guarantee it. it. Yeah, because of immigration, the turnaround, because, because of the economy. Because, because I, I truly think. And because you like him. He's, a, he's the best president I've worked for, and I work for six. I respect them all, but no one's done more for this country to protect Americans than President Trump. All right, I'm going to leave it at that, Tom. My yeah. best to your yeah. family, your wife in particular, who yeah. I believe watches the show. <laughs> Debbie, I think it is. Yes, it is. Debbie, he's a good man. All right, Tom. Thanks very much indeed, right. sir. Appreciate right. it.